Hello everyone, I'm quickly moving on to the video, and I'm ranking the best fruits for leveling up in Blox Fruits. Enjoy watching. Firstly, some fruits are not the best choices for fast leveling. I'm starting by adding them to the F tier. These are Barrier, Portal, Diamond, Falcon, Pain, Portal, Rocket, Spin, and Spring Fruit. I've placed these fruits in the F tier, and now I'm continuing with the other fruits. The Bomb Fruit is categorized as a common natural type Blox Fruit, obtainable for a cost of 80,000 money or 220 Robux from the Blox Fruit Dealer. While it boasts a decent leveling ability attributed to its significant area of effect, its overall effectiveness is considered to be moderate. As a result, I'm placing Bomb Fruit in the B tier. The Smoke Fruit falls under the category of a common elemental type Blox Fruit, available for a price of 100,000 money or 250 Robux from the Blox Fruit Dealer. Despite offering decent area of effect, its overall effectiveness is considered to be moderate due to the lack of significant damage output. As a result, I'm placing Smoke Fruit in the B tier. The Spike Fruit is categorized as a common natural type Blox Fruit, and it can be acquired for a cost of 180,000 money or 380 Robux from the Blox Fruit Dealer. Known for its effectiveness in leveling up and featuring considerable area of effect, it stands out in terms of utility. However, it's worth noting that this fruit cannot be awakened, which places it in the mid-tier range. As a result, I'm placing Spike Fruit in the B-tier. The Ice Fruit, classified as an uncommon elemental type blocks fruit, can be obtained for a price of 350,000 money or 750 Robux from the Blox Fruit Dealer. Recognized as one of the top fruits for leveling up, its combination of excellent stuns and moderate damage contributes to its popularity in both PvP and bounty hunting. The wide and consistent stun capabilities of this fruit make it effective in countering opponents like Buddha and prove beneficial for aspiring bounty hunters. As a result, I'm placing Ice Fruit in the A tier. The Dark Fruit, categorized as an uncommon elemental type blocks fruit, is available for acquisition at the cost of 500,000 money or 950 Robux from the Blox Fruit Dealer. Esteemed for its extended stun duration and teleportation ability, the Dark Fruit is considered among the top fruits for PvP when awakened. Its effectiveness is further enhanced by its commendable area of effect, and it is commonly utilized in conjunction with a sword and or gun for optimal performance. As a result, I'm placing Dark Fruit in the A tier. The Light Fruit, classified as a rare elemental type blocks fruit, is obtainable at a price of 650,000 money or 1,100 Robux from the Blox Fruit Dealer. Renowned for its versatility, the Light Fruit stands out as one of the top choices, whether awakened or not. Its diverse set of abilities enables effective use for area of effect attacks, featuring AoE moves, respectable damage output, reasonable mastery requirements reliable M1S, and boasting the fastest flight capability in the game. As a result, I'm placing Light Fruit in the S tier. The Rubber Fruit, categorized as a rare natural type blocks fruit, can be acquired for 750,000 money or 1,200 Robux from the blocks fruit dealer. While it provides a unique and entertaining experience with its rubber-themed abilities, it falls short as a practical choice for leveling up due to its focus on single-target damage rather than efficient AoE capabilities. As a result, I'm placing Rubber Fruit in the C tier. Priced at 940,000 money or 1,275 Robux from the Blox Fruit dealer, the Ghost Fruit is a rare natural type Blox Fruit. Recognized for its impressive area of effect abilities, this fruit stands out for its remarkable passive skill, Resurrection, which enhances the user's survivability. Additionally, the Ghost Fruit offers commendable mobility options, making it a valuable choice for those seeking a combination of offensive and defensive capabilities. As a result, I'm placing Ghost Fruit in the A tier. Priced at 960,000 money or 1,300 Robux from the Blox Fruit Dealer, the Magma Fruit stands out as a rare elemental type Blox Fruit. Renowned for its unparalleled damage dealing capabilities, the Magma Fruit takes the lead in terms of inflicting substantial harm. While it may not be the optimal choice for leveling up, its exceptional damage output places it among the top tier fruits, securing its position in the A tier. As a result, I'm placing Magma Fruit in the A tier. The Quake Fruit, 
a legendary natural type blocks fruit, demands a significant investment at 1 million money or 1,500 Robux from the blocks fruit dealer. Recognized for its considerable area of effect, the quake fruit showcases impressive abilities, particularly when awakened. Despite its potent features, the awakening process proves to be both time consuming and highly challenging. As a result, I'm placing quake fruit in the B tier. The Buddha fruit, a legendary beast type blocks fruit, commands a substantial price of 1,200,000 money or 1,650 Robux from the blocks fruit dealer. Its exceptional feature allows users to inflict substantial damage on targets from a considerable distance, minimizing the risk of being defeated while engaging other players. For those skilled in sword combat or various fighting styles, the Buddha fruit proves especially advantageous as it can be transformed to incorporate weapons or fighting techniques. As a result, I'm placing Buddha fruit in the S tier. Priced at a hefty sum of 1,300,000 money or 1,700 Robux from the Blocks fruit dealer, the Love fruit is a legendary natural type Blocks fruit. With the flight ability unlocked, users gain the advantage of attacking enemies from a safe distance, remaining airborne and out of harm's way. Notably, the Love Fruit excels in area of effect damage moves and offers support capabilities, including the unique ability to carry an ally during a flight move. As a result, I'm placing Love Fruit in the A tier. Priced at a substantial sum of 1,500,000 money or 1,800 Robux from the Blocks Fruit dealer, the Spider Fruit stands as a legendary natural type Blocks Fruit. Displaying commendable abilities, particularly when awakened, it offers a decent array of features, making it a respectable choice, though not necessarily the top tier option. As a result, I'm placing Spider Fruit in the B tier. Introduced in Update 20, the Sound Fruit emerges as a legendary natural type blocks fruit, obtainable for a considerable price of 1,700,000 money or 1,900 Robux from the Blocks Fruit dealer. Notably similar to the Light Fruit, the Sound Fruit boasts a flight ability that proves highly effective when the tempo meter is elevated, offering exceptional control and speed. Furthermore, its impressive AoE damage makes it a valuable choice for efficient leveling within the game. As a result, I'm placing Sound Fruit in the A tier. The Phoenix Fruit, a legendary beast type blocks fruit, is available for a substantial price of 1,800,000 money or 2,000 Robux from the Blocks Fruit dealer. Known for its high energy consumption, this fruit stands out as a versatile choice, offering healing and support capabilities to allies alongside its significant AoE impact. While not the most efficient for leveling up, its multifaceted abilities make it a valuable asset in certain contexts. As a result, I'm placing Phoenix Fruit in the C tier. The Rumble Fruit, a legendary elemental type blocks fruit, commands a hefty price of 2,100,000 money or 2,100 Robux from the Blocks Fruit dealer. Renowned for its potent AoE damage, the Rumble Fruit could potentially secure a spot in the coveted S tier if not for the extended time required for awakening. Despite this drawback, its formidable AoE capabilities contribute to its overall effectiveness in the game. As a result, I'm placing Rumble Fruit in the A tier. The Blizzard Fruit, a legendary elemental type blocks fruit demands a substantial price of 2,400,000 money or 2,250 Robux from the blocks fruit dealer. Renowned for its exceptional damage and valuable stuns, the Blizzard fruit emerges as a powerful contender with considerable potential in PvP scenarios, raids, and general gameplay. Noteworthy for its high AoE damage and the ability to fly, providing sustained damage without interruption. It proves particularly effective in sea events, excelling against ship raids and sea beasts. The Blizzard Domain move, in particular, enhances AoE damage, facilitating a quicker and more efficient means of dealing substantial damage. As a result, I'm placing Blizzard Fruit in the S tier. The Gravity Fruit, classified as a mythical natural type blocks fruit, demands a hefty price of 2,500,000 money or 2,300 Robux from the Blocks Fruit dealer. While there are situations where the Gravity Fruit can prove useful, it generally falls short in terms of damage output in many scenarios. As a result, I'm placing Gravity Fruit in the C tier. Priced at 2,700,000 money or 2,350 Robux from the Blocks Fruit dealer, 
The mammoth fruit falls into the category of mythical beast-type blocks fruits. Despite being a recent addition to the game, its usefulness for leveling up is limited to the acquisition of the transformation ability. Regrettably, the extended time required to obtain this ability places the mammoth fruit in the mid-tier range. As a result, I'm placing mammoth fruit in the B-tier, priced at 2,800,000 money or 2,400 Robux from the Blocks fruit dealer, the dough fruit stands as a mythical elemental type blocks fruit. Despite being favored by many players, it falls short in terms of AoE, and its beneficial abilities demand high mastery, taking considerable time to acquire. Additionally, awakening this fruit proves nearly impossible until reaching the maximum level. As a result, I'm placing dough fruit in the C tier. Priced at 2,900,000 money or 2,425 Robux from the Blox fruit dealer, the shadow fruit stands as a mythical natural type Blox fruit. Distinguished by its unique feature, the fruit envelops the user's body with a growing dark aura influenced by the Umbra meter. While offering an entertaining gameplay experience, it falls short in terms of leveling up efficiently. As a result, I'm placing Shadow Fruit in the B tier, at a cost of 3 million money or 2,450 Robux from the Blox Fruit Dealer. The Venom Fruit emerges as a mythical natural type Blox Fruit. Offering excellence in various aspects, including grinding, PvP, PvE, raids, and sea event hunting, the fruit proves versatile. With moves that deal substantial damage and provide additional benefits, it stands out as an effective choice for leveling up. As a result, I'm placing Venom Fruit in the A tier. Priced at 3,400,000 money or 2,550 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer, the Spirit Fruit is classified as a mythical natural type Blocks Fruit. With the unique capability to unleash spirit-based attacks, encompassing both ice and fire elements, the fruit demonstrates its versatility in player versus player scenarios. Its remarkable area of effect and the ability to summon allies for attacking, healing, and speed boosts contribute to its dynamic nature. However, considering its substantial cost, the overall effectiveness of the Spirit Fruit places it in the mid-tier category. As a result, I'm placing Spirit Fruit in the B-tier. Priced at 3,500,000 money or 2,600 Robux from the Blox Fruit Dealer, the Dragon Fruit is categorized as a mythical beast-type Blox Fruit. While it may not be the most effective choice for leveling up, once mastered, it offers a set of decent moves that add value to its overall capabilities. As a result, I'm placing Dragon Fruit in the C tier. Priced at 5 million money or 3,000 Robux from the Blox Fruit Dealer, the Leopard Fruit falls under the category of a mythical beast-type Blox Fruit. While it boasts effectiveness for leveling up and offers decent moves, it is important to note that its mastery requirement is quite high, making it a less favorable option for some players. As a result, I'm placing Leopard Fruit in the B tier. The video ends here. In your opinion, which is the best fruit for leveling up in Blocks Fruits? Write in the comments and let's discuss. See you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't.